I wasn't sure you'd make it. You getting the jitters now? Do I look scared? Guess not. Glad that's clear. Red! Don't bother, Ram. But I made a promise to Rosetta! Not gonna have a change of heart. It seems you understand me well, but then again, you can mind. That obvious. Not that I've ever been able to read what's in your heart. What? Oh, of course. It must be because I lost it long ago. Nothing matters to me anymore. Nothing except my country forest land. And I swear, I will exterminate any threat, be it Sandland or being kind. Green Prince, why do you lend these humans your strength? for your king? Or has that old blood legend so rubbed off on you that you've discovered a sense of justice? Don't make me sick! You're the only one pretending to be on the side of justice! Pretending? A moral fiend cannot even conceive of the greater good. Dare to approach me? Shut up! Fancy words don't make you better than me! If you don't understand what he's saying, you're kind of proving his point. I can't even read this guy's mind! Why would his words make any more sense? Go get her, Prince!
surprisingly swift and responsive. We're going to have to predict its trajectory. I'll grind you to death! Just try to touch this! Defeated! I'll grind you to dust! of what matters. You lose everything. I have already lost half of my body to that. And any trust my beloved king ever had in me. All for force. It is far too late for me to change course now. Try 
But you're almost in the clear! I'll find you to dust! Turned my heart to stone and yeah, shattered it to fine. pieces, yeah, all for my country. How cruel that now even my body will be smashed apart by this accursed fiend. No, perhaps losing everything is exactly what I deserve. Can you stop with the pity party? Fred, how exactly do you think we even made it this far? It was Rosetta. She told us where the airplane was. So she betrayed military secrets to the enemy. She was deeply conflicted over it. But the reason she ultimately did it was to stop you. She wanted to save you from the self-destructive spiral. That's what you call standing in the way of Garum's cannon to protect the enemy. If that's not treachery, what is? It was you she wanted to protect, not the royal army. She was trying to save your soul. She staked her life on it. You're saying she... That's what I choose to believe, at least. I can't claim to truly know the heart of another person. Reading minds is fiend's territory, after all. I know that Rosetta has so much she wants to tell you. But after all I've done, how can I possibly face her now? How about... as her father? Aren't there things you want to tell your father too, Prince? <laughs> Shut up! Let's go beat that angel and get this over with. Munio is in the control room. Why are you ratting him out? Isn't that treachery? You made me curious to see what it feels like. Surely a fiend is in no position to judge me for that. <laughs> All right. <clears throat> Finally, time to beat Sandland. I have pretty much no heals, so.
Behold! Isn't the world the Divine One created simply beautiful? Or rather, it was, until the humans defiled it! Deceived by you nasty oh, demons, the they heck? fell further and further What's wrong? from grace. It is us angels' duty oh, to bring the man. humans back to the light and vanquish the demons responsible so for... <laughs> hey! I'm in the middle of a speech here! Your fault for getting so wrapped up in spouting garbage. I shouldn't have expected any better from a fiend. Lucifer was exactly the same. He wouldn't listen to a single word. Just tore off my beautiful wings as I begged him not to. I'm not surprised a rotten apple like you hasn't fallen far from the tree. Like I care. Enough talking. Let's rumble. You want to fight? You've got one. Let's settle this with just our fists. Time to see which one of us is stronger once and for all. You impudent brat! I'll teach you just how much stronger angels are than fiends! <laughs> to make you and your space divine judgment, as the Lord wills! The only judgment here will be my fist in your face! You fiends deserve no mercy. Sorry, can't help right now. You're home. Every last one of you demons! Even the bean can escape from this. Yeah. <laughs> 
already. If you just hand over the urn of sealing and go back to the celestial realm, I'll forgive you. You... you forgive me? I'm an angel. It can't end like this. I just need more power. It's being rapidly depleted! Oh, the Aquanium furnace malfunctioning? I can't tell, but at this rate, we'll lose control of Garum! What the fuck is fucking voice is this? That's not an angel. Using a cranium to buff yourself in a fight is not fair. Yeah, we need to use bots. We can't beat him if you keep clinging to your pride. Shot should finish this. This won't do.
You're not losing your nerve, are you? Is he doing bad uh, tank then? Like Jesus, this is tough. Dude, this motherfucker is mimicking tank man.
shields! Do you truly believe that what you are doing is right? But of course, the Divine One is perfect, and as his child, so am I. Obviously, this is not even possible for me to do wrong! The elves might claim he's bad to the bone, but your self-righteousness is truly evil. How tedious. I should not expect a bullish human like you to understand. It's up to me. The moon you have to guide you back to the Rat right with wings. <laughs> Said your prayers yet? No. Human. Am I? Oh. <laughs> like I'd let an angel. Be more evil! Isn't that? There were two urns. Ah! King Lucifer's inside of it! We're talking about my dad here. I'm sure he's fine. <laughs> this is no time for laughter. Garum's gaining altitude. So, what do we do? Get to the control room. Take back control of the ship! Okay, you handle that. Thief and I will look for a good escape room. Very misguided. <sighs> it's no use! The whole place is falling apart before our eyes! This is thing too fast now! It's no use! I've lost all control over it! The Aquarium's gonna explode any moment now! Abandoned ship! There's nothing else we can do! Use the escape pods by the command center! Go on, now! Supreme Commander! We've been waiting! What? These are... It's fine. Let every one of them onto an escape pod. Yes, sir. But, Commander, the pod only fits five. Uh, there's six of us. Can't we all fit if we squeeze in? Sorry, ma'am, but that's a safety hazard. It, it could put you all in danger. It's fine. I'll stay. Don't worry, I'm a feed. I'm afraid I can't allow that. If anyone should stay, it's me. I started this. I'll stay and see it through to the end. Quit brooding and get in the pond! The elves! What? I said I'll survive. 
don't trust the word of a fiend? I do, more than anything. Still alive, huh? Here, stand up. I... <clears throat> Shoot. I still don't have my strength back. You need a hand? Why are you here? We made it this far together. Why would we separate now? I second that. I mean, I appreciate it, but how are we going to get down? You can take us. Can't you just fly us all down there? I can't fly! What? But you're a fiend! Can't they all fly? You're a half-fiend, can you fly? Oh, then what do we do? Heck if I know. <sighs> Luckily, I've got just the thing. Oh, I see! They're the floaty tablets I got from the Peachy. Okay, everyone hold out your hands. Once you swallow these, you'll be able to float for 10 seconds. So make sure to take them right before you're about to go splat. I'm not sure this will be as easy as you make it sound. Better than staying on until we reach space or explode, right? Um... Okay, then I... I'll go first! This is going to take a miracle, but it's our only option. Thief, your turn. Oh, me? Well, I... Oh, hurry up! Ready Angel can't fly without his wings, huh? <sighs> Here we go. <sighs> Any tablet left? What do I do? Oh, hold on. He can't swallow one while he's knocked down. Well, okay. Guess I gotta take it and make this work somehow. to get out of the jar on your own? No. As luck would have it, the urn smashed against a rock. Lucky for me, too. You saved me from a rough landing. Oh, that was me. Big sis? Big sister to you. Ow. <laughs> hey, everyone! 
Prince, y you had us worried you were up there for so long. You all made it safely. I told you the tablets would work. <laughs> Those things didn't help us at all. Getting the timing right is impossible. We all chickened out and took the tablets too soon. So they wore off when we were still high up. But before we crashed, some strange power saved us. It looks like your family actually came to our rescue. Ah, save me too. You must be... my mom? But how? I thought Munio killed you! <laughs> there were two urns of sealing. I was in the other. You really think some second-rate angel could have defeated me without one of those? Oh, I see. And your father? My father? He's fine. Thank goodness. So this is your daughter, Lilith? Yes. Uh, pleased to meet you, Grandpa. I'm Anne, sir. Grandpa! Never refer to me by this undignified form of address again. I am Lucifer, the King of Demons. Uh, your Majesty! Queen Lilith and Princess Anne, I deeply regret what I did ten years ago. I was wrong about fields and harmed you and many others in my ignorance. The people of our nation are the ones who deserve an apology. You should be saying this to them, not me. As you say, Your Majesty, I will accept any punishment for my crimes, be it prison or death, without complaint. Hmm. <laughs> any punishment? In that case, how about I wipe Forest Land off the map in five seconds flat? Eh? He's joking, Bread. But mend your warmongering ways. Use your talents for the pursuit of peace. Uh, oh. Thank you, Your Majesty. Peace. The very concept makes me feel ill. Um, King Lucifer, what shall we do with the angel? <sighs> I will inform the archangels and have them come pick him up. He'll be in for it then. <laughs> Serves him right. Guys, you see this? It's raining! W well, I'll be. It's the Aquanium at work. It took 30 years, but it's being used as the Peachy intended. Finally. By the way, human, what was your name again? Oh, are you asking me? It's Rao, sir. Well, Rao, you've done well in the role of Beelzebub and Thief's leader. You're a credit to your species. If you like, we have a place for you at Demon Village. Thank you, I'm honored. But I don't intend to turn in my sheriff's badge quite yet. After all this, you'll return to being a humble sheriff. I like you, Rao. Here, have a treasure chest. Huh. Dad! I was wondering if I can play games for two hours a day now. Maybe? Don't push your luck. Practicing your flying would be a far better use of your time. Right!